Some Disney stars have a hard time distancing themselves from the characters they play, but they need to do it if they want to grow professionally. For us, their fans, it's bittersweet to see our favorite characters from childhood growing into adults. Some of us still see Zac Efron hoping to see Troy Bolton or Zack and Cody in the Sprouse Twins, but we all change, and we all grow up. It's only natural. Today, I'll show you 10 of those Disney stars who had changed so much that they are unrecognizable. So keep watching. Jake T. Austin's breakthrough role was Max Russo in The Wizards of Waverly Place when he was 12 years old. He had small appearances in other Disney productions like Hannah Montana and The Sweet Life on Deck. After the end of The Wizards of Waverly Place, Jake starred in the movie Hotel for Dogs, and he was cast as Jesus in the TV show The Fosters. Jake then took on some voice acting roles, starring in The Emoji Movie and Teen Titans. He also appeared on Dancing with the Stars in 2016. Now, Jake is promoting his most recent film, Adverse, a crime thriller where he acts next to Mickey Rourke. On March 9, 2021, Jake shared a teaser for the movie and wrote in the caption, I've performed as many different characters, and now allow me to introduce you to Lars. My new movie, Adverse, is available today on Apple TV. Acting is about bringing characters to life and telling their stories. Austin is now 26, and even though he looks very grown up and serious, you can still recognize Max Russo's smile in some of his pictures. Dylan and Cole have been acting since they were seven years old, when they co-starred with Adam Sandler in the film Big Daddy. But without a doubt, their most memorable roles are as the protagonists of the show, The Sweet Life of Zack and Gody. The show ran on Disney Channel from 2005 to 2008. Cole and Dylan also starred in the show's spin-offs, The Sweet Life on Deck and The Sweet Life Movie. When they finished filming The Sweet Life on Deck in 2011, the twins took a break from acting and decided to focus on their studies. They both graduated from New York University in 2015. In 2017, they returned to the big screen. However, they weren't children anymore, so each of the twins started pursuing their acting careers individually. Cole landed the role of Jughead Jones in the Netflix show Riverdale, and Dylan was cast in an indie movie titled Dismissed, in which he plays the sinister Lucas Ward. Dylan also co-founded a brewery called All Wise Meadery in Brooklyn. Dylan has been dating Victoria's Secret model Barbara Palvin since 2018, and he's rocking his new platinum blonde hair. Cole, on the other hand, dated his Riverdale co-star Lily Reinhardt for two years before splitting up, and now he's dating the model Ari Fournier. The twins are now 28 years old. Can you believe it? You remember Corbin Blue for his role as Chad on High School Musical. After that movie became a huge success, Corbin had his own Disney Channel movie, Jump It, where he played the lead role of Izzy Daniels, a teenager who goes against the wishes of his family and becomes a professional rope jumper. Even though Corbin's breakthrough roles were on Disney Channel, he has an impressive career outside of Disney. Apart from being an actor, he's a dancer, a model, producer, and singer-songwriter. He participated in numerous films and TV shows. He's gone on to star in several Broadway productions, including In the Heights, Godspell, and Kiss me Kate. He was also on Dancing with the Stars and has released two albums. Now, Corbin is a grown man, and he's married to the actress Sasha Clemens. It has been 15 years since the release of High School Musical, and for the anniversary, Corbin was asked how it feels to look back on the film. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful gift that continues to keep on giving. 15 years, isn't that crazy? Now, Corbin is 32 years old. He no longer sports his long, beautiful curls, but he's still a very handsome man. Zack has been on the radar since the year 2000, and he's still one of the most famous and loved actors out there. Zack made his breakthrough as Troy Bolton in High School Musical and has not stopped acting ever since. He has been in over 50 films and TV shows, collaborated with several musicians, and has been nominated and won many awards. The entire world has witnessed Zack's physical changes throughout the years, from being very teenager's dream in High School Musical, to the extremely ripped lifeguard in Baywatch, to the classy and handsome 33-year-old he is today. Honestly, it doesn't matter how much Zack changes, he's always going to be the most attractive man in the room, regardless of his age. Does this face ring a bell? I'm sure you remember Rico Suave from Hannah Montana. Moises Arias was 12 years old when he starred in what would become Disney Channel's most successful TV shows. Moises' character was easily recognizable by his huge eyes and soft hair, as well as his hyperactive and flirty personality. After Hannah Montana, Moises appeared in The Middle as Matt, and then in six episodes of John claude Van Johnson. In this show, Moises is almost unrecognizable as he plays the role of a weapon specialist that was a child soldier. He now has a six-pack and in general, 
has a very hippie vibe to him. Moises has continued to act regularly. In addition to TV shows, he's been in movies like Ender's Game, The King's Summer, and Five Feet Apart. He's also a photographer. If you go on his Instagram page, you'll see that it's full of beautiful portraits he makes of his friends. Some recurring faces in Moises' Instagram are those of Willow and Jaden Smith, with whom he's been friends since childhood. This caused Moises some controversy. In May 2014, when Moises was 20 years old, he was photographed in a bed with Willow, who was 13 at the time. Moises was shirtless, so this picture triggered an investigation by the Department of Children and Family Services of LA. Moises is now 27 years old. Jake Thomas had his acting breakthrough with his role of Matt McGuire in the show Lizzie McGuire. After the show finished, Matt kept acting regularly in film and TV. Apart from being an actor, Jake is also a screenwriter, photographer, and director. In 2018, he got a degree in screenwriting with a minor in Japanese. Now, Jake is 31 years old. He got rid of the spiky hair and mischievous smile that categorized him on Lizzie McGuire and changed them for a hipster kind of look, with his hair combed over his forehead and either a thick mustache or a beard. Lizzie McGuire finished in 2004, and despite how much Jake has grown and changed, people still recognize him. You would think that the beard would throw it off? I have no idea how people still recognize me. <laughs> to me, Jake looks like a super nice and chill person. Sadly, you can't say the same about this next person. Adam Hicks had his breakthrough role in Disney in the 2009 show Zeke and Luther, where he played the role of Luther. He also replaced Mitchell Musso's character in Pair of Kings and had a main role in the Disney movie Lemonade Mouth, starring alongside Haley Kiyoko. Apart from being an actor, Adam is a rapper, singer, and songwriter. Adam recorded a version of MC Hammer's Can't Touch This for Zeke and Luther and wrote a song for the Disney Channel show Shake It Up. He also co-wrote some songs for Lemonade Mouth. In 2017, Adam got into some serious trouble with the law. He was arrested twice that year, once after accidentally harming himself in the leg with a firearm. In January 2018, Adam and his then-girlfriend Danny Tamburo were arrested after they robbed four people using weapons. He was arrested after several armed robberies were reported yesterday in Burbank. The in July 2019, he pleaded not guilty. Adam's last acting credit is from 2018 movie Shifting Gears, where he looks completely different from his characters in Disney. The biggest change in Adam is not on his hair color or his body shape. In my opinion, it's that he kind of looks sad. You know, kids, they're going through this, through life right now, as, as we speak. So they're, they're going to be able to relate to this. Now 28, it looks as though Adam has chosen to stay out of the limelight for a while. You may remember Doug Brochu for his role in Sonny with a Chance. His character Grady Mitchell was a goofy boy who often got stuck in awkward and funny situations. Doug was also in the spin-off of the show called So Random. Doug hasn't done much on-screen acting since So Random because he's focusing on theater. He's been in the stage production of plays of My Fair Lady and Forever Broadway. Doug is also a voice actor, and in May 2021, he joined the broadcast team of Esport Engine. If you compare how Doug looked when he appeared in Sonny with a Chance and how he looks now, you can see how different he is. Is. He has slimmed down a lot and has grown out of his silly, goofy looks into a more sophisticated man. Now, Doug is 30 years old and he's very active on Twitter, where he has over 94,000 followers. You'll know Mitchell from Hannah Montana, where he played the role of Oliver from 2006 to 2011. Apart from that, Mitchell has also voiced Jeremy, Candace's crush in Phineas and Ferb, and had a main role in Pair of Kings for two seasons, until he was replaced by another character, played by Adam Hicks. But why was his character replaced? Well, in 2011, Mitchell was charged with two counts of DUI. He was only 20 at that time, and apparently he was arrested after he failed to slow down for the police in an unrelated accident. Because Mitchell was under the legal drinking age when this happened, he was facing facing six months in jail and a $1,000 fine. However, he was released and only had to pay a $5,000 fine. This wasn't great for his career, and after being fired from Pair of Kings, Mitchell has only had a handful of roles in films and TV. He went on to start a career in music and released an album and an EP, but hasn't released any more music since 2010. However, his uneventful career could be about to change. He's supposed to star in a TV show called The Rise with Jake T. Austin in 2021. He also made a return to Instagram after not posting anything since 2018. He used the platform to write an emotional post about the struggles he has had in his life. These hardships have molded me into the person I am today, and this is someone I am proud of. I am thankful for the obstacles I've overcome and those who have stood by my side, and I can't wait to show you all what I have in store for 2021. So who knows? Maybe Mitchell has something excited prepared for us. He's now 29 years old, and he's completely changed his hair, and he definitely doesn't look like a teen anymore. 
Last but not least, Cameron Boyce. Even though Cameron sadly passed away at a young age, we still had the joy of seeing him grow in front of us. Cameron's first appearance on screen was in the Panic at the Disco music video for the song The Green Gentleman. He was just 8 years old back then. When he was 12, Cameron got the role of Luke on the Disney Channel show Jesse. In 2015, he became one of the protagonists of the hit Disney franchise Descendants. Cameron's last role was in the show Paradise City, which was released posthumously. Cameron sadly passed away on July 6, 2019 after suffering a seizure in his sleep. Looking at Cameron in that last role he played is heartbreaking. He had grown up to be such a smart and talented young man and he still had so much to offer. As you can see, most of these Disney boys have built incredible acting careers. They're still pretty young, so I'm excited to see what the future brings to their careers. Who is your favorite actor from this list? What chain surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments.